morning from probably the coolest place I've ever stayed in Japan. Honestly, I can't wait to give you guys a tour of this place. I'm sure you can just tell by this one shot. Because I'm here. Oh yeah. And that is why it's the best place in Japan. You know a property is good when you sort of open that door and you walk in and you go, wow. Yeah. And you've got that moment. It doesn't happen often. And it happened in here because of this it's beautiful so nice. circular window. Thank you so much to GlassesUSA.com for sponsoring this video and this adventure. I have brought along two pairs of sunglasses from them. And I'm really liking these ones, but I want to get your guys' opinion. It's kind of different to what I normally wear. Or do you prefer this pair? I feel like I wear these a lot. These are like my current go-to sunglasses. Let me know what you think. GlassesUSA.com are one of the largest eyewear retailers in the US. They have over 10,000 different styles of frames. If you're feeling overwhelmed by the amount of choices on the site, they also have a quick quiz you can take. It'll take about a minute and it will suggest a bunch of glasses to you based on your needs and your face shape. They also have this really cool AR try-on tool. It's a good way to try on glasses before you order them, so you can tell if they look good on you or not. They're also offering a nice discount exclusively for my followers, but it's only available for the next 24 hours that you can use on top of any holiday deals that they have going on at the moment. But would you like to see a tour of the best place ever? Let's go. All right. Such a cool looking house. I want to live in a place like this so bad. I wanted to show you the entrance because I really like the natural stone tiles they have here. I think that looks so pretty. So much light coming in everywhere, you'll see. You come in and there's a staircase going upstairs, there's more rooms up there. We have a Chris. We have a living room, which is probably the best part. Beautiful. You can't beat this, honestly. The sun is kind of hiding behind clouds now, but when it was coming, oh, you can kind of see it. When it was coming through here and you got the shadow of the bamboo. I love it so much. I want one. Let's, let's get a match here. The bath is pretty cool. It looks small, but it actually goes below ground. So it looks like it would be pretty shallow, right? But it's quite deep. But I don't think you can fit more than one person in there. There's a shower over here kitchen. I don't think we'll be doing any cooking, but they had a really nice coffee tea station that we used this morning to make our morning drinks. I love this little garden. How cozy is this? It's tiny, but it makes the biggest difference. So cute. Let me take you guys upstairs. In these old Japanese houses, you usually have a very steep staircase because there's not much room to build the staircase. Over here, we have a Japanese style room. You could put futons out here if you have a big group. It smells so good. I really wish you could smell this. It's kind of like the smell of straw, very natural grassy smell, but I feel like that smell makes a room so nice and cozy. I love it. This is the room we are staying. There's two little beds. I love how this entire place is renovated using natural materials. The ceiling is wood, the floors are wooden or tatami, or downstairs, which is my favorite flooring, it's little pebbles. It's so cool. It's like a massage for your feet when you walk. And that is about it. Pretty cool place, right? So Chris and I are on a four day road trip through this area of Japan. We're starting off here in Kanazawa. Don't think I've ever filmed in Kanazawa. I've been here several times. Every time I come here, I always feel like it's very close to like the ideal place to live in Japan. I can't really think of anywhere else I might prefer to live except for Morioka, but I have like nostalgic reasons to like living in Morioka. I don't know, it's just such a cozy, pretty, perfectly sized town. It feels a lot like Kyoto, but it's way less tourists. It's a lot smaller, more manageable. And right now we're headed out to the river, which is a really cool place to take a walk at nighttime. Hopefully we'll come back later tonight so I can show you guys, but it's really nice in the day as well, especially now with the autumn colors. entered the old 
district of Kanazawa. It's the coolest place of Kanazawa for sure. It's definitely the most touristy, so you will find the most people gathered in this area, but it's totally worth it to check it out. Lots of really cool old buildings and tea shops. Let's go get some tea. We went to this tea shop last time we were here and there's an amazing view from up top if you can get a seat up there. And the matcha was really yummy, so hopefully they have some space. Oh, they have green tea noodles. That looks good actually. Look at that. They have fancy namagashi here too. If you really want to try a super traditional Japanese dessert, I recommend this one. It's always beautiful. It's kind of like a little sculpture and it tastes really simple and sweet, so everybody tends to like them. I've never had green tea so men. I've only had a uh, green tea soba before, which was delicious. Gold. 24 karat solid gold. I know you just blew it all away then. Oh my god, I'm blowing it away. <laughs> what am I doing? Taste of power. While the gold is flavorless, the uh, the mochi underneath is very nice. Every time I slurp noodles, I remember that scene with Jotaro. That horrible scene and where were we? Mm. My wife loves my slurp. <laughs> Stop it. It was fucking awful. It was awful. <laughs> she loves my slurp. Stop. He literally said that. Yeah, he did. I actually uh, still can't slurp noodles after 10 years. Like... You're really bad at it. <laughs> <laughs> try your best. Don't, don't fool around. Like, try your best. <laughs> These namagashi usually cost about 200 to 300 yen each because they're all handmade. This one isn't as intricate as some of them, but you can oh, get the most beautiful ones. Shots fired. Insert intricate namagashi here, but it's so delicious. It's so soft and you just eat a little bit at a time like this. And it goes really nicely with your matcha because this is quite sweet. I just found a really cool looking shrine here. Oyama Jinja made out of bricks. It's so pretty here. I love the color of this pond. That's cool. This is such a cool shrine. I really like it. The pond area is gorgeous. If only there were koi in it, it would be perfect. I didn't see any though. Whoa, look at that. It's too bad they closed it. That's so cool. Oh, there are koi. Yeah. Best shrine ever. It's a big one. Wow. Whoa. That's nice. <laughs> Kanazawa Station is so cool. They have this Tori Gate style entrance and they light it up so it looks amazing at nighttime. And in the daytime, it's really beautiful as well. Coolest station ever, honestly. I love it. We're here because we're gonna grab sushi for dinner and they have a really good conveyor belt sushi restaurant here at Kanazawa Station. This is it, Kidari Kaitenzushi. Last time we were here was Journey Across Japan, one. Oh, gold sushi. Perfect, get that. <laughs> Look at it. No. Ridiculous. It can't be right. Am I going to be buried under a golden sheet when I die? Depends. Depends how nice you are. So. Don't touch it. Stop it! Stop it! <laughs> it's basically nothing. Yeah. It's, it's like so delicate, it melts. It's basically an optical illusion. You taste it and it's gone. They're like Charlotte's cooking. It's <laughs> like me. Gold covered sushi. This is definitely a first. <laughs> mm -hmm. Nice bit. You have all your food with gold. You can't taste it. <laughs> It's just for looks, really. 
Don't know if it has any nutritional value, but it looks awesome. And that fish was delicious. That was Norokuro, the uh, local meibutsu of the area. Really flavorful fish, but not in a fishy way. It kind of tastes like it's cooked. Like it's got a nice grilled, kind of smoky flavor, even though it's raw. Really nice. Is this one yours? Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> Good so sama desu. We ate so much. We had a very long day of filming and we're super hungry, but that was delicious, wasn't it? What was your favorite? Gold sushi. <laughs> Shut up. No, it was much. not. Maguro. Uh, yeah, Agro. yeah. The tuna was really nice Kukuro? here. Yeah. Akami. Akami, that is kind of like red meat tuna. Yeah. packed up and ready to leave the matcha. Don't want to leave. Do we have a matcha in the next town? Uh, no. Oh. Sure. We are headed to Shirakawago. <gasps> Just for the day. We're not staying there, right? No. And then we're going to Takayama, which I've never <gasps> been to before. If you're visiting Kanazawa, you have to stop into the amazing Omicho market. There's over 170 shops here selling freshly caught fish and local produce. There's a lot to choose from, but let me take you guys inside and I'll show you the three things that Chris and I get every time we come here. Our last day in Kanazawa is we had to come by the market. They have khaki! It's khaki season finally. <laughs> Good, but not super sweet. I'll have to find a sweeter one. Not as sweet as you. <laughs> it's good though. I'm glad they're finally in season. This is my favorite fruit. Persimmon in English. If you see them in the grocery store, try one. Look at this, hollowed out. Can we get a hollowed out orange? Yeah. Just want the orange? Yeah. You got this five years ago. You get it every time we come here. Mm. <laughs> Sour. How do you think they do this? Uh, there's a machine that hollows it out, I think. It's awesome. I want one. <laughs> We go to the same three shops every time. The orange, I get some kind of fruit in a cup, and then Chris gets unagi. So you can buy a whole unagi for about yonsen in. That's probably about $28 at the moment. Or you can get a little taste on a stick for 500 yen. Let's try this unagi that Chris won't shut up about as soon as we come to the market. Mm. But it's very good. <laughs> They're chill. Mm. I like how it's a bit crispy on the outside. Often unagi is a bit chewy. It's really nice. Same here. Mm. Oh yeah. <laughs> Before we hit the road, I had to pop into Kanazawa Station to grab my collectible stamp. You can find free stamps like this all over Japan in places like train stations, roadside stops, tourist attractions. I really enjoy collecting these because they're a fun way to keep track of all the cool places I've been to in Japan. and the colors look so good. I've only been here in the summer. It was gorgeous. I would say Shirakawago is probably at its peak visually in the summer. But if you want to enjoy yourself, summer isn't ideal because it was so hot. 
Shirakawago is well known as one of the most scenic spots in Japan. It's surrounded by mountains and it's located right next to the beautiful Shokawa River. Although it's a bit of a trek to get here from Tokyo, I think it's well worth the trip. And you can even rent a room inside one of these amazing farmhouses for the night. I was a bit reluctant to come here again actually because I thought I'd be really touristy. And yeah. Take some of the mountains away, but yeah. That's been pretty cool. You can still find a sort of quiet moment. Yeah, down well, the people old do streets. live here. Like these are just people's homes. Yeah, yeah, Imagine living in one of these. The dream. A little stream flowing by. It's amazing. Uh, it's really friendly. Oh, <laughs> We stopped by Pudding No Ie, the pudding house. Apparently this pudding won Japan's top pudding award last year. So it must be really good. Got a regular one, had to try the original, and I also got Mizu Pudding, water pudding. <laughs> I was too curious to not buy it, so. Oh my God, it's very good. Is it good? Are you trying the regular one? Yeah, no, the other one. Oh, the Gohei Mochi. <laughs> Is it good? Is it worth Japan's top pudding award? Save me a bite of that one. I want to try it. I'll try. Horrible boyfriend. Fiance. Horrible fiance. <laughs> You've Horrible been demoted fans. back to boyfriend. <laughs> Give me the pudding. <laughs> <laughs> I'm curious. Mm. Holy shit. That is good. Wow. It tastes like custard more than pudding. Is it the best pudding you've ever had? Probably. Oh, okay. It's really good. Wow. I'm not surprised they won best pudding in Japan. Yeah, I think it is the best one. Come on. So this is the Mizu pudding. Look at it. The bottom layer is just clear. <laughs> what a mess. It's like jello. Made a right old mess over the house of pudding. <laughs> you might have to get more. Oh my god. <laughs> it's so good. So, if you want to get the view, the money shot of this town, there's a viewing spot on the mountain over there, a mountain. You can either climb up it or take the bus. We don't really have time to do either, unfortunately, today. So, not going to happen. You have but, to imagine uh, it. But, like, I, I think the best view is down here. But I'm saying that because I. I have time to go up there. Well, I think the best part of this place is just wandering around and yeah, the pudding. being in it. House of <laughs> and pudding. the pudding. House of pudding. Three words. But I'd much rather just walk around the town than be far away and look at it. I got some uh, doboroku, basically uh, unrefined sake. So it's kind of like a weird grey zone of sake. It's hard to explain. How but does it taste different to regular sake? It's kind of thicker, creamier, cloudier. I'm is somebody who likes cloudy oh. sake, I like nigori sake. Yeah. And uh, so this is kind of a bit like that. But it's very potent stuff, so drink it in moderation. Fortunately, it's quite a small bottle, but it is enough to make you pretty damn knocked out. So okay. <laughs> and it's actually made here in the, uh, in the very shop we bought it. The woman here was like, I made it with my hand. And I was like, very good. <laughs> It's pretty cool actually. She's like, after you've drunk the bottle, you can use it to put a flower in. Yeah, it was really cute. Very <laughs> She's sweet. adorable. We are headed to Takayama next. Bye, Shirakago. Maybe see you in the spring. We haven't seen it in the spring yet. We should come back. There's a Michi no Aki just outside of Shirakago. I'm gonna check if they have uh, a stamp. That would be awesome. I got one inside the village that was really nice. No, two. Two at the information center. Wow. Oh, that's cool. They keep it open so you get a view of the mountains. That's neat. I think the stamp would probably be in that building. Yeah. If they have one. Oh, there's two of them. Nice. Oh, that looks good. Nice. Nice. After a real 
relatively quick drive through the gorgeous mountains of Gifu Prefecture, we arrived at Takayama, finally! I've never been to Takayama, but I've heard Chris rave about it. He's been here a few times and he just loves the place. And I can see why. The traditional Edo-style streets are so cool. I've only been in Takayama for a few minutes and I've fallen in love with it already. This is our room for the night. It's all tatami. And then while we're out for dinner, the staff will come in, put the table away and set up our futon. And this one is warm green tea and this one is a Japanese sweet warabi mochi. Oh, lovely. Thank you so much. Thank you. Yay, warabi mochi and warm green tea. It's pretty chilly here. Mm. We ran into so many viewers at um, Shirakawago and lots of them had come from Takayama previously, the day before. And they said it was really cool here, like eight degrees in the morning. So I'm looking forward to that because this trip has been a lot hotter than I was hoping it would be. Wow, this is gonna look wow. fucking cool tomorrow. That will look really good. This is so, this is the perfect spot in Takayama. This is the river, that's the, one of the bridges. Edith, the bridge. Oh wow, yeah, look at the bridge. And this is the there. old town district. All right, we are headed off to sleep and I'll see you guys in the morning for some Takayama in the daytime. We're gonna spend the whole afternoon here before heading back to Tokyo. So I'm looking forward to that. Looks like we got some good weather. It's a little bit cooler up here in the mountains. It's pretty nice. We'll see you in the morning. Bye. Good morning. I wanna show you guys the view before we check out of this gyokan because it's amazing. So there are two retro museums here in Takayama. The first one, you can touch and play and fool around with all the items in the museum. And the second one is more like they've recreated scenes from the Showa era and you can walk around in them and enjoy them. Wow. Oh, look at this place. It's huge. So cool. Whoa, old pinball machines. Can you use them? Oh, I think you can. Gotta try. Ah. <laughs> this is a real car. It's so tiny. How many museums are you allowed to go in and touch everything? Try it out? This place is awesome. And it wasn't that expensive to enter either. I think it's about a thousand yen. Chris says the best part is upstairs, so we'll see. Oh, look, it's Elon Musk. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> huh. That's what nearly like it. <laughs> kind of looks like you. I want to see you on this. Do it for your viewers. I definitely could not balance on that. This is so neat. They have an area where you can play all the old Super Famicom games. I love this ad here for Oronomin C, the vitamin drink. It looks the same nowadays. Yeah, really? It's kind of like iconic, you see it everywhere. Yeah. Uh, really cool though. I don't know what it is about it. His smile encapsulates the show era better than anyone. <laughs> it's the glasses. And the glasses. <laughs> I really enjoyed this Showa museum. Highly recommend this place if you are in Takayama. I could have spent the entire day in here. Unfortunately, we are only in Takayama for one day, so we are off on our next mission, tasting all of Takayama's famous street foods. We're gonna try out some of the local Hidakyu Nikuman. This shop looks really popular, so probably pretty yummy. <laughs> So they have a spicy one and they have a not spicy one. I thought I could get the spicy one because in Japan usually spicy stuff isn't that bad, but the woman in there warned me that it's quite spicy. So I chickened out and went with the regular one. <laughs> it's still steaming. Mmm. 
so much better than the ones from the kombini. It kind of tastes like skiyaki. You can really taste the sweet beef, onions, and miso. It's such a good combo. We've had a Hidegu bun, there's Hidegu sushi, but of course the best is simply Hidegu on a stick. And, oh, the one street food you need when you come to Takayama. You won't regret it. Wasabi korokke. So it's got hidagyu, wasabi, and potato. Mmm, mmm. Yes, that's so good. <laughs> yes. It has lots of wasabi in it. Do you want to bite it? It's amazing. Of course, I want to bite. <laughs> Dear, I want to bite. You might need your own. <laughs> <laughs> it's so good. It was only 200 yen. Why is it so good? The wasabi, there's just so much wasabi in it. But it doesn't, it's not too spicy. Well, the perfect amount. It burns a little bit, but it's not painful. <laughs> it's so yummy. All right, I think it's time to head back to Tokyo. Oh. We had a very nice trip. This was the perfect three places to go for autumn, I feel. Honestly, Takayama yeah. is uh, really is somewhere special. And I, I wish, every time I come here, I'm kind of like, damn, why didn't I come here longer? I'm only here for like a day. Damn, um, why don't I live here? Damn, why don't I live here? <laughs> Honestly, Kanazawa, Shirakawago, and Takayama were all so pretty. Mm -hmm. And I feel like they'd be really nice in other seasons as well. So if you're not coming during the autumn, oh, yeah. well worth the trip, summer, spring, even winter would probably be really gorgeous here. Yeah, Shirakawago looks really nice in the snow. Yeah. So I can see in photos. <laughs> Never done. One day. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and it was helpful for you on your next Japan trip. And I'll see you again soon. Bye. Bye.